Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Emil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani, and today on Raised Line, I'm really privileged to welcome Omar Ishraq who's one of the most influential figures in medical technology and healthcare in the US and globally. He earned that role in part by being chairman and CEO of Medtronic, the world's leading medical technology company from 2011 to 2020. But he was also president and CEO of GE Healthcare Systems earlier in his career. Outside of healthcare, he serves as chairman of the board of directors at Intel and is also on the boards of the Cleveland Clinic and Asia Society. His tenure at Medtronic was marked by a focus on therapy innovation, globalization, and economic value. And he engineered the acquisition of Covidian, a $10 billion global manufacturer of surgical products and suppliers, the largest medical technology acquisition in the history of the industry. Over the last decade, he was responsible for bringing to market a long list of innovations to improve the lives of millions of patients around the world and help healthcare systems become more efficient. Can you start by telling us a bit about how you got into engineering first and then the career within business? Well, I got into engineering because I took a degree in electrical engineering, which, um, you know, I just felt I wanted to do. And from that, I did a PhD, actually, in uh, in the area of ultrasound imaging. And, and that then um, took me into business. In the beginning, I wanted to do uh, research, but very quickly, I realized that I uh, wanted to know the impact that that research would have on a product and then on, on patients and people and what value it would create for a company. And so that, um, over time, connected me with, uh, with, with customers and with business, and, and, and that's how I eventually grew. Given our audience is uh, comprised primarily of students and early career health professionals, what's your advice to them about meeting the challenges of the COVID-19 uh, moment and approaching their career in healthcare? I think focusing on patients and that the, the role is uh, of, the, of the physicians and and the people in the healthcare industry is to improve people's lives. You know, one must never forget that. The, the, the link to an outcome as opposed to an intermediate endpoint is important. You know, the other thing that is uh, also important is this notion of working together with others, but at the same time, recognizing that healthcare is a granular effort. You have to understand the details. You have to understand them in, in, in extreme depth. And you can build an entire career, an entire lifetime on just focusing on one thing. And, uh, you know, one should never forget that. Now, to scale things, you may need to add things together at a different level. Um, I understand. And things can have side effects. You need to understand about other things. But the, what's really struck me is uh, how, uh, how focused really one has to be to really move the needle in healthcare. So these two things uh, I, would, uh, I would leave with the audience. Um, that as they, you know, so think about the careers in healthcare and remember these. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raised Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.